Are you a podcaster? Maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join. The multi-award winning Ozcast Network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world. Join now for the first month free and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. Ozcast. Simply head to ozcastnetwork.com for details. Ozcast. Fortunately for them, the DJ neighbour Matt Burgess couldn't sleep. My night Jared Walsh, lovely bike. Oh, He's been around for ages. He's oh, lovely. Hey, and Jared. I love him. He's a great guy. <laughs> and world tennis number three, Andy Martin's had to, Andy Murray even. Ah, welcome to Best Team Men, a brand new intro. Jared, welcome to you. Thank you. It's great to be here. This is the the time that I most look forward to every week to spend almost an hour with you two boys and come and just have some fun. So, Andy, how are you going? I'm very well. And uh, when you said that last night on the old texty, I was like, that's the most excited I've ever heard Jared on text. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. Have you done the thing with the iPhone yet if you write pew pew with an exclamation mark? No. All right, check this out. So I'll just send it to (laughs) you. This is completely out of nowhere. No, this is awesome. So I'm going to send just to Andy, right? Yeah. P-E-W space P-E-W. Sure. And I don't think I even need to do an exclamation mark. Send... No, I need to do an exclamation mark. Hold on. Pew pew with an exclamation mark. Oh, Oh, it works. It works. Oh, you're the lasers. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's just it. like just like being at bloody Enchanted Forest about 20 <laughs> Back years Back in the day yeah. when I was 17. No, anyway. It's good to be Ooh. here, boys. It's been a, a very uh, a strange day because uh, we're not a sports podcast. We, we're working out what sort of podcast we are still, but I'm a bit in shock that what's going on in the NBA, the playoffs are pretty much in shutdown mode at the moment. Two of the, the teams that are left in the playoffs have said, we don't want to play anymore in the reaction to a shooting that happened in Wisconsin. So it's a bit strange. Like, I'm NBA obsessed and I love that finally something is happening. Was the NBA affected heavily due to coronavirus like the AFL? Massively, mate. They're in uh, in Florida at Disney World playing in a bubble. So all of the teams moved to Florida. Yeah. And they are... Uh, sorry, I should start by saying NBA is basketball. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were talking about women's hockey. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's yeah, Wayne Grisky's affected. the best player. <laughs> there's, there's no crowds or, or anything, wow. mate. It's, it's pretty full on. Do, do they fill the crowd seating with like uh, Mickey Mouses and stuff? Oh, oh, that's a good idea. They, they did really well because behind... Behind the basket, they have um, all of these screens where fans can watch it from home oh. and they show the fans' reactions behind it as well. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. They've, they've done really well. For like tech nerds like us, it actually looks pretty good. Mm. We've got a big round coming up, Maddie, and we've got Massive. some great sponsors. We do have some great sponsors, obviously starting at the top. With Connellina. As Connellina. We've, we've, given, we've <laughs> yeah. given him a couple's name. I'm going to make him a T-shirt that we can sell on our shop to make money off that name. Great. We, Con- we, we, we made that name up. Connell will probably make his own, though. He yes, would, yeah. <laughs> Anything that we say, Con's already done. So, yeah, Con at the Brighton Trophy Centre. Yep. He's been our uh, major sponsor now for a while. Lee at Shifty Lizard Brewing. And Jared, your mates at the Odd Sock Mob. Yeah, I've got an update from that as well. Because you know how I mentioned uh, last round that we had uh, some some people approach us from the Odd Sock Mob and say, hey, we want to give away a pair of socks every couple of weeks to people who promote the podcast. So I've got a message from Alex from Odd Sock Mob. Um, he says, basically, hope you're enjoying the socks. Uh, we would absolutely love and be interested in doing a giveaway with the show. Um, around Father's Day, we'll be able to start giving those away. And I think it's really important important that because Odd Sock Mob uh, approached us, we need to celebrate the fact that they want to be involved with our podcast. Yeah. And I think it's a really good thing. We are not going to defame <laughs> any potential sponsors that want to be involved in Best Team and There's no umming or ahhing about it, guys. No, any anyone who wants to jump on, get on board. Well, yeah, yeah, I think it's important that people want to promote their brand via us and we're not going to go, no, nah, we are too good for you. Uh, we're, you know, it's not that, like when people want to invest their brand in a, a media stream. It's not like you have to be exclusive there. It's basically saying, oh, excuse me, Toyota, um, you can only sponsor the Adelaide Crows and no one else. No, mate. If you want to spread your wings and actually be part of lots of broad listener experiences, then we love Odd Sock Mob at Odd Sock Mob on Instagram. Absolutely. I gave them a follow. They followed me back. 
Sick. Yeah. Me too. Sick. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just um, uh, overwhelmed by the monologue that Jared just did. Yeah. I've come, I've come a bit fired up today. Yeah. Right, so yeah. Yeah. I've got a fair bit I want to. And usually I talk most in this podcast. I want to pull back a little bit. I need to say, Andy, congratulations. Is this movie for you podcast is back as well on Ozcast Network. So oh, yeah. if you want Beautiful. some movie recommendations, you can have a listen to Andy and Yaz. So that must fit in between the uh, Up and Go podcast and... <laughs> yes, we put a, a photo of her recording the podcast while feeding your daughter. Yeah, that was weird. Um, <laughs> now nah, you know. Kept everyone happy, so that was good. Yeah. Okay, what, what did you rate that movie out of ten? Well, I gave it a ten. Of, <laughs> of podcasts. I need to. I need to talk about this very quickly, and Matt, you'll probably get angry at me. Oh, and the okay. thing is, we don't edit on this podcast. We are all live, unless there's uh, defamatory things. <laughs> so, <laughs> which sometimes come yeah, out. We, we don't mean to, yeah. but you know, we've done it a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, and uh, then we and then we normally get a message from Andy going, "How far back was that?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're like, "Oh, I, I actually can't remember." <laughs> have to listen to it. I actually blacked out for 50 minutes. So <laughs> I have no idea what's because going on. my monologue I was talking to. I was like, okay, so what is a bubble in Florida? Wait, NBA? I don't know what he's talking about. What's a Giannis and a Decumpo? So um, I was talking to Maddie pre-show, Andy, about some of the podcasts that I enjoy listening to and some yeah. of the podcasts that I'm off at the moment because I've actually been pretty disappointed with some of my podcast offerings this year. Um, I think COVID's been great for people to express creativity yep. and some other podcasts which are attached to some of my favourite radio shows, which I can't really discuss at the moment uh, because I want to... you're still employed by well, them? that's exactly right. Yeah, okay. So give it a couple of weeks and I'll be able to talk about my favourite <laughs> <laughs> Still going through 54,000 emails, by yeah. the way. Um, and we were just sitting there, Maddie and I, pre-show, having a, a coffee at BTS. Yeah, well, I don't which, know where this is going. <laughs> and... Maddie said, guess what I'm listening to at the moment? And I thought he was going to, A, recommend some music because Maddie's a DJ. He yeah. works it for a label. He's got a great understanding of music and content. Yeah. And Maddie showed me what he was listening to. Yeah. And Maddie, did you want to let Andy and everybody know what you recommended me before <laughs> we came in here? <laughs> I don't know if I can. Well, just give a little oh. bit of a, a brief, because you realise that whenever we talk, everything's content for yeah, the podcast. I know, I know. So you forgot that for a second. I did figure that for a second. I thought we were just talking as mates. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I don't know, for some reason, like, lately I've just been going through, <laughs> so I can't even talk about it. I've been trying to go through some, like, health and nutrition sure. podcasts. Yes. Oh, so my like God. That. No, I have. I seriously Just have. to get yourself off those donuts for breakfast. Yeah, well, that's right. If you, yeah. if you actually use the first part of that when you said just to get yourself off and stop there. <laughs> oh, <then> okay. <laughs> this is my sort of, is it one of my podcasts? Oh, so I was scrolling through the category of, um, you know, health and well-being and stuff yeah. like that and st- stumbled across sexy stories with Chantel Otten. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So we're at a cafe and Maddie's holding me up saying, so, yeah, I've been listening to this lately, mate. Oh, my God. Why do I need to know I've that? I've never listened to it lately. I listened to it last night for a little bit. <laughs> and it was interesting because it's Dylan Alcott's missus. Okay. Ah. But, but what's it about? People write in sending their sex stories. <laughs> oh, that's old school. Yeah. That's like 90s radio. Yeah. Do you remember what was that show? Uh, Dr. Feelgood. No, no, no. It was a different one. It was... um. Uh, uh, sex something in oh on the TV you yeah, 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 uh, yeah 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 uh, well, had is Tony the Goldsmith as the host that's the one yeah yes. yeah that's the one I mean I don't know no <laughs> 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 so anyway. I'm expecting Maddie to recommend some music to listen to for the podcast or something. He's oh. like, yeah, I've been listening to sex stories. So yeah. like, okay. I was thinking, you know, maybe Axel and Grosso or something like that. Yeah. No. You, just turned, anyway. you just turned your headphones down, by the way, as well. Yeah. Not mine. No, mine. no you turned mine down. Yeah, I know, because I, I just didn't want you to talk as loud. Well, So we, we've got a lot coming up. A Port Pirates update. Um, the Skeff has been in touch with some actually really good news about the Port Pirates as well. Um, he hit me up on the DMs on Instagram, so obviously he's replied to uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the yeah. stalking that I've given him. Andy, you've got to hit us up with a pub story as well. We've oh, got yeah. heaps of stuff to get through. Lots. and uh, Not to mention the stuff we end up going off and talking about as well. Yeah, so, so where, where should we start? Where are we actually what? going to start? 
to me for a sec because, uh, you know, we speak about the sponsors and how good they are to us and all that sort of stuff. Yes. And I mentioned last week that uh, mum was, uh, uh, you know, she wanted some, I think she wanted some framing maybe done. Great. And she goes, hey, does your trophy guy do the framing? Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. I think he does trophies, mum. Yeah, I mean, just <laughs> go the by Brighton the Trophy Centre. <laughs> thanks, thanks to Kyle <laughs> Lena at the Brighton Framing Centre. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go buy some milk off him as well while you're there? Because that, that sounds pretty random. Anyway, so I was like, give him a crack. Go and, go and say hi to Con and see what happens. So she's gone in there, organised it all, said Con's, Con could not talk any more better about us. Like you said, we're hilarious. Yeah, nice. we're, it's a great podcast to listen to. Um, and he's got and his name on the rolling scroll now as well. Oh, does he? Yeah, he does. I drove past it this morning. Well, a full name? Yeah, Andy Murray. ABN as well. Oh, Martin. Stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andrew Martin Andy. is written up there. <laughs> You're on. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I got a text last night from mum. She said that she'd collected the uh, the frame that um, oh. Connor had hooked up. Why was she getting framed? Uh, I have no idea. Mm. Just a picture. I Great. imagine Con, if he didn't sell it, he's probably gone to Kmart for it and bought it. <laughs> 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 just he's like, he's the frame. He's like, oh, yeah. I can do anything for you guys. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. What uh, a legend. Uh, she says, uh, he did a good job, uh, but at first he wouldn't accept payment as we were family. Oh, that's that is amazing. Unreal. In the end, he quoted $5, which I thought wasn't enough, but he accepted. <laughs> and, um, and because we're family, I said, thanks, uncle, and left. Oh, he, that's brilliant. Wait, your mum said thanks, uncle. Yeah, which is, I don't know what she means, but she's trying to be funny. Like, she's not like a Well, she's hitting on him. <laughs> well, he is a good looking lad. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Yeah, right. So those broad shoulders on the old con. Yeah. It's, I mean, the last photo we saw of Con, he had a fish trophy on his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. She loves but, a good fish. We, anyway. love, we love that. So that, that's great. And uh, we should say, yeah. Yeah, uh, we don't know if there's any particular deal that we've got to work out with Con. Like if yeah. you go to Brighton Trophy Centre and mention best team, man, do you get a discount or something, something like, like that? that. I mean, or we're just not, a photo with Con. Or, or a 24 pack of Fanta. That, <laughs> that's yeah. true. And uh, we, yeah, so thank you very much to Con and Lena at Brighton Trophy Centre. Yeah. We'll do uh, your commercial um, at some stage during the podcast as well. We, we, we are going to get a female voice involved, whether it's um, Rosalie Panetta or um, Taylor Jones who looks a lot like Taylor Hanson, Taylor Jones. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> the female version, of course. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so no, they're from the up and go. And what's the other one? Like, stop, I haven't finished podcast. Is oh, that- uh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, that's the porno one that uh, Maddie listens to. <laughs> uh, no, no, oh. you are talking about uh, Rosie's um, something about uh, I, I hate to whinge. There you go. Stop, yeah, but- I haven't oh, it's, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's the same thing. So, Andy, we're, we're going to keep yeah. it on you for a second because we put out on social media um, over the past couple of days, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions that people want to ask the podcast, and we, we think we're in a position where we've got we've got like a I love we've got a loyal kind of listener base which is growing oh, yes. how loyal are they we had one bloke said offered up some suggestions and then said you might be doing this already I haven't listened for a while yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fair enough I'm mean, sure, sure that wasn't my wife <laughs> yeah. with one of her burner accounts Jared she might, you're a shit MC oh, <laughs> yeah. oh by the way can you bring in some milk in your daughter's thirsty okay <laughs> you get it from con yeah well, so uh, Andy uh, yeah. we did when we were pretty much starting off as best team in nightclub stories because that's how Matt and I got to know one another yeah. and we'd go we're going to talk about some serious sporting issues and then at halftime we'll tell a nightclub score, <laughs> story just to break it up and uh, it worked for uh, three weeks yeah, yeah I mean at most but <laughs> why is that because you ran out of content or uh, no you not really we, we just ended up stopped talking about sport really yeah and that's what we've we love is that we you asked a simple question the other day of what category should we be in sport? Yeah. We don't really talk about no. sport as much as we love it, apart from you, obviously. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I love that sport. <laughs> uh, I can smell it from over yeah, here. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but the good thing about the nightclub story is that a, a listener has asked um, and you have heaps of them. And you did promise this one last week as well about the Goody Hotel. And this is when I told my uh, Alicia Keys Marion Hotel uh, bingo weekend thing. You said, you've got to tell you this story about the Goody Hotel. So tell us. Yeah, well, so um, so I was uh, nightclub G- DJ, uh, bloody um, wedding DJ, pub DJ mm. back Ages ago, right? Mr. Versatile. Yeah, Mr. yeah. Versatile. I'd pretty much do anything for money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nothing no, really. Nothing really, really I'd do anything for money. Um, it's, I'm still very sore. I thought sex, um, I thought <laughs> sex stories with Chantel sounded familiar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Chantel. Do you recognise yes. that? Oh, um, Shandy Martin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a really good idea for a new podcast. Actually, I might just start doing that after this one. You're um, welcome. Anyway, uh, so uh, I... So, 
Maddie, as you would probably know, and also you, Jared, uh, we worked for uh, a bit of an agency back in the day, yeah. you know, doing pub gigs and stuff. And there'd be often times where you just get random people that either worked at pubs, move pubs, and then they book you in the yeah. end to DJ, right? And um, this one was at the Goodwood, uh, is it the Goodwood Park Hotel? Goody Park Hotel, yeah, yeah. Or the Goody, right? On Goodwood Road there. And um, the the bar manager calls me and goes, hey, mate, um, uh, I want to book you. Friday nights or whatever to do this. And I was like, cool, easy done. And I knew it was literally just roll up, the gear's there, you DJ away. You've been doing it for ages. You can do it with your eyes, yeah. you know, closed. Yeah. He goes, it's going to be a bit slow, not many people coming, so it'd be pretty cruisy. And I was like, no worries. Anyway, the same night that I'm booked to do that is the Christmas party for uh, Fresh FM, right? And uh, I used to drink a lot back then. <laughs> so I uh, went to the Christmas party. I was like, I can have a few. Mm. Um, I can go DJ because uh, what would generally happen is if I'd have a few before I DJ'd, I'd do a six set. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Or so I thought. Yeah, so you thought. <laughs> There's another story for next week for you on the back of the end of that. But um, so I've uh, gone to the Fresh Christmas Party, um, had a great time. Um, it was at a little nightclub that Troy J. Bean DJs mm. at. Uh, Who's around enough, the corner. Used to be the voice of the Metropolitan Plumbing Ads. Yes. He was oh, the right. guy that and said, would get Metropolitan, Metropolitan Plumbing. Plumbing. And I can do that. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that's a, that's Do a, that again. Did you know that is amazing. That? No, I'm doing. So I'm flicking the side of my mouth. That, that's really wow. good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, used to, he, he used to get so many death threats about that. Really? Yeah, because people were so sick of hearing his voice oh, on those wow. ads and Metropolitan Plumbing. Anyway, mm. uh, so uh, this little nightclub around the corner from Gouda Street. I don't know if you guys uh, know it. Um, I can't even think of the name of it. Anyway, it's just there. And I knew that. <laughs> what I are you saying? What's around the corner from Gouda Street? Yeah, on the corner like, of Gouda, uh, Gouda and Morford. Yeah, there's Lotus like, Lounge. Yeah, Lotus Lounge. Yeah. Was, the party was there, right? Yeah. So rolled up there, cool, have a few. They were doing this drink that was essentially called Rocket Fuel. And oh. because there was an open tab, it wasn't like Nova where it's like, just beer and wine, yeah. guys. Drink whatever was, you like. It's yeah. on the card. You can have a schooner and a glass of water. Cheers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but only two an hour, including water. Yeah, that's the water. Only <laughs> two waters an hour. <laughs> Thanks to Pure Tab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the great thing the Fresh had back in the day is open bars. So uh, I went along there. I stuck to my five or six drinks mm. of the rocket fuel, probably 30%, I'd probably say, because I sculled these things, right? And I've gone, okay, guys, it's time to go to the goodie to do my gig. <laughs> so I had uh, one of my mates drive me there. And we've and as we're driving there, I don't know if you sort of remember when you get really hammered and you get in a car, maybe a taxi at the end of the night, and you sit there and go, yeah, cool, on the way home, and then you start to drift yeah. because of the movement of the car and stuff. Ugh. Well, that's what happened to me. So I had a few turns to the Goody Hotel. So um, I started to drift off, got to the Goody, uh, kind of got out of the car. My mate had to help me in, like – you know, like you're at the end of the footy match, yeah, but you've done yeah. your knee. So you, like, you're, you're, you're going well here. <laughs> yeah. And he's carried my gear in. Uh, and he's going, you guys get sport. I'll give you a sporting analogy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. 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 Anyway, so uh, we've gone in there. I was going, hey, mate, do you mind just setting up for me? Because I need to go to the toilet for a bit. <laughs> and so I, there was no one at the pub. I've walked into the toilets. Um, this is where I've blacked out, but mm. the security guard has then told me what has happened when I've come out. So I've walked in there. I'm about to vom, and I've gone. I need to go to the toilet, so I've gone to the toilet, vom there, vomed all over the toilet on the <sighs> floor. Then I've gone to the sink to try to wash my face off, and I've vomed in the sink, filled that up, vomed in the next sink, filled that up, got some on the mirror, and then left the toilet right, <laughs> and then gotten back and just you know started to help my mate set up for my big gig for that night, and then the security comes out and he's like, um, "Do you guys know who's just?" Going into the toilets. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, guys. I was here to party. Vomit hang on your chin. Yeah. yeah, I look like just, you know, the, the milk moustache, just for this actual vom. Anyway, so he's gone away to sort of try to sort that out. And as I've gone to set up the rest of my gear, I've gone to pick up um, CDs back in that in that time. So I've, I've leant down to go pick up some CDs and I haven't come back up because I've passed out on the box. So um, what I remember then is. My mate, he has had to DJ for me. He's not a DJ, no. but he's just pressed play on a few songs, which <laughs> yeah. is essentially I mean, what I was doing anyway. Right. But yeah, what's <laughs> happened is the security guards come back because they've realised it was me that did it, oh. and then he's gone, mate. You need to, you need to go outside. We can't have you like this in here. And so I've gone outside the door, and the goodie sort of has that weird side car park thing where you can only fit a few cars, yeah. and that's the driveway and the entrance yeah. to the place. Near the bottle shop there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I've gone outside the door, and I've vommed all there, oh. right? And I was sitting there, like, on the bench, like, 
What's up? It's only eight o'clock at night, right? So families are still coming and going from their meals. So the, the security guy's like, "You need to go sit in your car." And I was like, "But bro, I'm, like, I'm feeling unwell." And he's like, "No, you need to go to your car." So he's took me to the car, and and he's chucked me in my seat nicely. I've sat down. I was like. Don't shut the door, mate. He's like, nah, shut the door, right? And I've then vommed all oh. through my car, passed out, and then my mate's done the gig for me, <laughs> finished up and driven me home and uh, left me under a tree. So then the next morning, um, uh, like the car was parked under a tree. So the next morning, the sun's come through nicely, woken me up, but dried out all the spew oh. and just, it was it was ridiculous. But then got the phone call on the Tuesday. Hey, mate, yeah, we probably won't need you. The <laughs> um, so that, that, that's that. Plenty of stories like that, by the way. Oh, yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get many from week. you. Um, Andy also, out of anybody that I know, has the best drunk voice. Yes. Like if he's trying to retell a story, it, it and he it. puts his drunk. It, no one is better than you oh, at doing you. a drunk voice. Yeah. I do appreciate that, and I um because you've I'm got not different. Sure sta- that- can you give us your different stages of, of drunk your voice? Um, like, let's start off in the night. G'day guys, how are you yeah. going? This is a great night. We're gonna have so much fun. Then a few beers in. Hey, hey, guys, you want to hear an interesting story? <laughs> yeah. And then you skip, you know, you slur a little bit. And then pretty much half an hour later, hey, guys, let's go party. And I'm saying, let's, let's get this deal. Who, whose sister's that? Whose sister's over there? I, uh, yeah. I once had an experience with Andy when I went with, um, we all went to uh, the Adelaide 500 and uh, we were in a corporate area and me and uh, my daughter's three godfathers went to Sosta on Rundle Street yep. for dinner afterwards. They got these amazing potatoes, these amazing, potatoes and I absolutely love them. I could just eat them non-stop. We're all sitting there. It's a great time and all I heard just coming up the street was this what's up y'all? What's up y'all? And then Andy comes in with Yasmin, his partner, and they start making out while leaning over us and then Andy goes, oh what's that? look like potatoes. <laughs> Andy puts his hand like he's palming a basketball over the pile of potatoes like What's up, y'all? Then they walk off. <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was it. Oh. What had just happened is... Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like, there's a bit of a backstory on that as well because... Um, so I'm a happy drunk. You were like, very I'm, happy. I'm not... An, like, I've only ever been angry once, mm. um, but that that was it, right? So I'm a very happy drunk. Uh, we've gone on the Clipsville for the day. We've had our you know private area. Uh, we're there with the, the current station manager of the station that we worked for at the time there. We had uh, Greg Burns, the comedian, who yeah. was in the office and all, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. From the UK yeah. over here, um, and uh, he was just surprised by the amount that we were drinking and how crazy we were getting. So we've decided to go to the stag as everything was finishing, right? So um, uh, our boss has go. You're right. You go to the toilet. You're right. So he's gone to the toilet, and we're going. Oh, he's pretty hammered. When he's really hammered, it's not that great to have him around, especially the venue. Let's leave him in the toilet. So we've continued to walk. We've walked all the way to the stag. And then Greg, being the celebrity that he is, right, um, he's like, let's go on the stag, you're right. And uh, we're like, okay, cool. <laughs> and he's walked in and we're like, see ya. And then we're, we're, we've ran. bolted and then we've seen you guys around the corner. And then uh, after that, I had potato obviously all over me mm. and I've caught the tram home. And then oh. I think I ch- ended up chatting to this guy and then found out that he had a he was a single father and he had a son and I was like, Man, if you need anything from a radio station, I can I, I'll put songs on for you on the Sunday afternoon. I, I'll give you a sticker or whatever you need. I am there for you, man. Like, you know, that's You're a nice thing. guy. You're yeah, a happy drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was interesting that we had there was a he was a big name Greg Burns in Adelaide for the time and probably if he, he didn't get in to uh the stag, he he may have used his name to try and get somewhere, which actually you wanted to raise Maddie. Yeah. Yeah, so Man United captain um, Harry Maguire has got himself into a little it's bit of Eddie's trouble. brother. Oh, is it? It's no. not. <laughs> <laughs> well, that family's doing very well. <laughs> so he's been over in Greece on, on holiday. Obviously, they're off season. Yeah. And him and his brother have got into a little bit of trouble over there, been arrested, and then he's uh, it's come out in court that he said to the police, do you know who I am? I am Manchester United's captain. I am very rich. I'll pay you what you like. And it just got me wondering, have either of you two ever used Do You Know Who I Am to get in anywhere, to get anything? No, I'm I'm very well aware that I'm a nobody, so uh, it wouldn't actually get me anything. I did have one one incident at um, the Clips of 500 at the time. We had to do – we had to host the after the 
uh, after race concert on the Friday night. So it was either like bands on track. So it was the local bands yeah. or um, there, there were some really good ones like leading up, but it was bands before they kind of really made it big. Um, I remember one, it was like mere theory and exactly. Cause like any, that, yeah. anyone else, like if it's the Hilltop hoods or the living in or whatever, they don't need an intro. No. They've got their own stuff sorted. So what would normally happen is there'd be two sides of stage where you'd have a viewing area and there was free drinks and stuff. Otherwise you just basically sit back by yourself and wait for the band to finish and you do nothing. Mm. And my name, I was told by um, one of the people I worked with that my name was on the door so I could go up there. And most of the night, I was just saying to the security guard, mate, my name's on the door. Can you please let me in? He said, it's not here, mate. He spent about an hour going back and forth. And then he eventually is like, okay, I believe you. Um, <laughs> I'm going to call you during the year for something. I'm like, no worries, mate. I just want to go up there. And you know, when you you just want to sink beers as much as possible yeah, yeah. out of principle. Yeah. Then randomly- like six months later, got a phone call. G'day, mate. It's Barry, the security guard from the Clips of 500. <laughs> like, what's up? He's like, oh, you know, Hawthorne are uh, playing the Adelaide Cruise oh, this weekend. No. Can you give me two tickets? I'm like, sure, Barry. Yeah, no worries, No mate. worries. So, That's yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would never say, do you know who I am? Because nobody does. Right. So, it's a weird thing. One year, I think the year after you were in the Clips and I went with you. Mm. Whose drum kit was I playing at the back of the stage? Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a video somewhere of me doing it, and I'm like yeah. playing the drums, but yeah. it's like behind the stage, so they're obviously about to I use think it. it was oh, Aussie music night, so it was probably gyroscope or something like that. Yeah. Kiss Chasey or someone Kiss like that. Yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you ever done it? Uh, not to the point where I said, do you know who I am? Obviously, um, massive Collingwood supporter. So when I was a lot younger, I'm talking, you know. 10, 11 years old. Every time Collingwood would come to town, I'd go watch him at Footy Park or mm. Amy Stadium. And with my dad having played there in the 80s, I used to go down to the change rooms, knock on the door and say, I'm Tony Burgess's son. Can I come in, please? And the doorman would nine times out of 10 let me in. That's so, right. Well, there are actually a handful of people in Adelaide that would do the do you know who I am thing. Because here in South Australia, we have a um, some sort of culture where we – there's a lot of people believe that they're bigger than they actually are and they would do the, do you know who I am? No, let's just have a real good look at ourselves at that and go, well, we're nobodies. Yeah. No. I've, I've got You're a couple of stories. Um, back in the day. He's like, yeah, good point, Joe. Yeah. I'm one of those guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just no. go to the bathroom and have a good look at myself. <laughs> <laughs> I look like spew. <laughs> uh, back in the day, uh, because we were part of Fresh FM, uh, it was a it was a very nightclub culture thing. Most of them were all DJs in all the clubs. So wherever you went, you didn't really as long as you had your little card, your fresh card and mm. stuff like that, or you're wearing merchandise like, hey, you you're from the station, cool, on the way in, sort of thing. You skip your lines, all that sort of stuff. But uh I got pulled over by the police. Um I didn't know that my license was suspended due to parking fines. I knew I had a few. Uh, that, that is another story. Absolutely. Absolutely. More time. Another story to the scroll. That is next round, that story. Um, so uh, I got pulled over because the, the car was, um, the license was suspended and also the registration and stuff because it had gone to court behind uh, my knowledge. Anyway, so they've, they've pulled me over and they've essentially, my car was lowered, black windows, you couldn't see me. Like, Recipe for disaster. It really was. Had a big West Coast custom sticker on the back window. They knew who they were getting at, you know what I'm saying? Like West Coast Eagles. Ex- Exhibit yeah. had been there and done his thing on yeah, it. Yeah, he really had been. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, being pulled over, uh, th- all the red flags have come up in their computer, so they're like, okay, this is a dodgy guy. Let's get this guy as quick as he can. So they've essentially both come in from each door, mm. right? Um, hands on their weapons, all that sort of stuff. And got me out. I'm like, hey, hey, guys, how are you? <laughs> yeah, um, uh, what it, what's this for? And they're like, uh, do you realise that you've got uh, enough parking fines to to fill a fucking bank? And I'm like, <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't, not at all. And they're like, what's that pink slip on the back seat of your car? It was a parking fine that's been to court. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, they've gone. Okay, you've been suspended. Blah 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 blah. Let's have your license. And my license was stuck in a wallet that had a little uh, plastic, you know, the plastic yep. sort of thing yeah. that goes yep. over your, your, your license. So I've pulled it out. But because my um, uh, wallet had been in seawater and stuff before, <laughs> it pulled my face off the, the driver's <laughs> license. So it was just a, uh, my face was on the inside of the wallet. <laughs> but you pull out my driver's license and it's just a white faded circle oh, where sh- my face should be. <laughs> and they're like, you know, um, you're holding an A4 piece of paper up on your shoulder. <laughs> like, hey, you the same? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, so they've, they've done, they've, done, they've looked at it and they've gone, um, 
do you have any other sort of identification? Because this has no face on it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, all I've got here is my fresh event card. Um, my, <laughs> Just uh, sound on the radio, my mate. My stuff card here. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, okay. And then they've walked away. They've had a little chat. And their demeanor completely changed. They came back and said, you're right, mate. You're right. Just oh. get, make sure you get it sorted out. See you later. And I was like, this media thing might work. Yeah. <laughs> the week before the cop was at the Goody Oscars. Hotel, he's like, I just saw that guy vomiting on himself yeah. at the Goody Hotel last week. Yeah. Yeah. We should probably leave him alone, mate. <laughs> we'll let him go. No, no, they've noticed all the stains spew on the inside of the car and probably going, oh, let's get this. Oh, yeah. gonna crack. But anyway, that's enough about me, guys. This has been, really been an Andy episode. So no, I love no, it. That's I love it. We need to get to know you. We don't have lots of time. We've got about 10 minutes left before um, <laughs> Maddie has to go. I mean, yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah. So th- there's a couple of updates we'll get to very soon. Um, first of all, social media is just such a powerful thing at the moment. How do you follow us, Maddie? At Best Team Men on Twitter and Facebook.com forward slash Best Team Men. Yeah. Now, one of the most fascinating things that has happened to us over the past week is trying to access our Twitter account. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the banter that goes on between you guys with this is hilarious. <laughs> well, it was hard to access for you, mm. and then we fixed that. Now I can't get into it. Yeah, so, so on, on our Twitter account, I just wanted to tweet stuff because I wasn't that great on it. I kept it pretty, you know, pretty vanilla. And um, yeah, but you, you were know. you were good. But I just wanted to have a turn. And the yeah. thing is, we didn't know what the password was. And then I had to change the password. But if you wanted to change the password, Maddie got a text message on his phone. Oh, yeah, and then, yeah, okay, yep. So apparently, <laughs> you can't have more than one person like logged into the Twitter account. Really, I didn't know that. Mm. Yeah, it's, well, that's it's what we really found weird. out. So. Okay, so I have decided that. For some reason, uh, me having access to best team men on Twitter, it gives me like, I don't know, I feel like I've got a voice that I can just say whatever I want because it's not directly associated to me. Essentially, what you're saying is... Uh, I think I'm a troll. Yeah, what are those people that go under a, um, a different thing and they go and try to hook up with someone else? Oh, catfish. Um, yeah, catfish, that's I'm it. I'm catfishing. Yeah, you're catfishing. Yeah. yeah, I've got to be very careful what I say because it is a reflection of us and we aren't mean-spirited people. No. no. But I'm I'm struggling in some areas. I think in other areas, in, in my personal Twitter account, if I'd say that, I'm like, oh, no, I probably shouldn't. But I can say it on the best team in one because you know, <laughs> we've got three people that's going to take the blame for it. <laughs> But I'm, but I'm obviously struggling because I took a photo of you and you were telling me about your bloody sex podcast yeah. you were listening to. And you tried to tag me and you ended up tagging a guy named Fred. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you can, you can go have a look at that. I'm going to leave that up there just, just for the sake of it. Uh, we did get a question on our Twitter, which um, I'll, I'll take you through next round because it's a, a bit of a long story. But Nate Turner, who uh, hooked us up with um, Odd Sock Mob, he wanted to know uh, pretty much if I message Donovan Mitchell, who's an NBA player, um, after every game, because I met him pretty much this time last year in Sydney when I was doing the um, USA basketball yep. game. Um, they took on Canada and they took on the Boomers as well, and it was an amazing experience. But what I can share from that is how nervous I was, because something happened last night, and we're not a sports podcast, but this happened last night in a in a the boxing match between um, Tim Zhu, who is Costa Zhu or Costa Zhu, um, his son, yep. and uh, Jeff Horn. And Jeff Horn oh, uh, fought Manny Pacquiao a, a little while ago um, in Brizzy, and he, he fought last night. And the ring the ring announcer is supposed to get everybody fired up, and you pretty much it is that saying you have one job, yeah. And he stuffed it. So uh, let, let's play the audio. You'll be able to hear him get one of the names wrong. It's Tim Horn against Jeff Horn, who will be crowned the king. Okay, can you please play that again? So he's supposed to say, it's Tim Zhu versus Jeff Horn. Oh, you, you know he's gone halfway through that. Yeah, and you're like, oh, fuck, fuck this one up. Yeah. All right, here, here we go. It's Tim Horn against... Jeff Horn. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, Jeff Horn's going, I'm not fine, my brother. That's exactly yeah. right. And it, it did make me think, we mentioned we were going to play this last round, um, and when Adelaide United, who have their season awards at the moment, um, they had the A-League Grand Final against the Wanderers. I was so excited. The build-up to that, I was so nervous because, long story short, I was in Tasmania, and I had to fly back from Tasmania to do the A-League Grand Final because at that point, a few weeks when we booked, I didn't think the Reds were going to make the yeah. Grand Final, let alone host it. So 
So I was really nervous. I was working with um, the Wanderers MC, Andy Pascalidis. And normally what I do before every Adelaide United game, and I've kind of made this my own. Like when I started MCing, I'm like, I'm going to try this. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I would scream out Adelaide and the crowd would scream out United. Yep. So I'll go through the headshots of the 11 starting players and the yep. players on the bench. And then I go, all right, let's do this Adelaide. Yep. And then they see United. And, that, and it is, it's a great thing. Like it's works. unreal. It definitely works. And I've been to games where you've done it and it's yeah. creates an amazing atmosphere. So. Yeah. So 50,000 people are at Adelaide Oval. This is a huge build up. And I'm like, this is going to be great. I want to hear the crowd do it. Like the nerves and the excitement. It got the better of me because my voice broke. And, and a few days later, it went online yeah. saying when, like, when you, your balls drop in front of 20,000 people. It was, Can we just hear that again? Yeah, please. All right, here we go. <laughs> so that, that, that is going to be the audio of this week that we play because we are running out of time. Um, what else do we need to get to before we wrap up? Well, it's time for Andy's new game. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, all right. Here, here we go. Okay. I've made an intro. This is new. Jared and I haven't heard this. Yeah, threw this together before you boys arrived. Here we go. Andy's burning sporting issues. <laughs> that is amazing. Yes. by Andy. <laughs> yeah. I was like, who should I get to voice this? No one else is here. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, <laughs> I'll like do it, it myself. Yeah. So I've got two today. One of them is... I'm just going to read it because it's more funny than anything. Okay. But you can still have a crack. Oh, I'll give it a, a, a red hot go, yeah. This is the first one. And <laughs> I might have trouble getting through this one. Keegan fills Schmeichel's gap with semen. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, can't do anything else apart from the fact that he's a porn star. <laughs> can I? <laughs> well, all I can see right now is just literally the guy's teeth... Full of okay. uh, so, yeah, so, <laughs> so this was Sky <laughs> <laughs> This was Sky Sports headline following the news that Manchester City had signed David Seaman in yep. replace of Peter Schmeichel yep. and the coach was Kevin Keegan. Long haired keeper, David Seaman. Yep. Schmeichel. Schmeichel. Yeah, Schmeichel. Is a bit of a strange name. Okay. Sounds like something Adam Sandler would say. Second one. True. Anyway. This is, <laughs> moving on. This one would be pretty obvious, but I thought it'd be funny anyway. Kid. Ricky Williams blames Pot for his failed drug test. <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah, that, that, uh, yeah, that was good. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, it's got to do with weed, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. Smoked a bit yeah. of the old doobie woobie. That's and, right. Uh, no he more support his, for him. Failed his drug test. Give yourself a round of applause or whatever you got. <laughs> <laughs> That's close enough. Very nice work. I do love that game, by the way. Oh, well. yeah. I, I do it's love that. a lot that. of pressure on my shoulders. <laughs> uh, now, Port Pirates. Yes. Port Pirates. Get the me. Skeff got in touch with me. He said, how are you, mate? Um, we couldn't get the result for you last week, unfortunately. Like, come it's on, mate. Don't be so scored. hard on yourself, this yeah. Skeff. Oh, um, he said he wants to come in and have a chat with us because they've got a club store playing his 300th game in a few weeks. So um, there's a lot of past players attending. This is September the 19th, Saturday night. So we've got time to build up to this. Yeah. We'll give you more details on it next round. 7 o'clock kickoff. Um, and they're basically in the process of designing a timeline photo frame with their achievements. I mean, Con and the Brighton Framing Centre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now with milk. Yeah, so we, we might actually get, get Con involved. So there's the, the, the Skeff update. Um, thank you very much. If you want the multi update and who wins the voucher, we will put that on social media. Yep. I have to, I know you have to go, Maddie. Yeah. We have to put someone on the plaque. Okay. That's what we do every, every round. Yep. So if you got if you guys have people to put on the plaque, then I'm going to do something at the end of that. All right. So I'm going to put on Kieran Bridge. So he's my mate that tends to order stuff Bridgie. off eBay. It's Murray's brother. Murray, Murray Bridge. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> also Harbour. Harbour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. And Andy, who are you putting on there? Uh, I'm going to go with Jake Tolsha. Oh, you know Jake? yeah, Jake, Jake Tolsha yep. is a great guy, very creative man as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take someone off the plaque. Oh, well, hey, what? I didn't know yeah. you could do, what, ungrave it. Yeah, we are. Con, well, I'm wow. going to give you a mission, mate, because uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, and I don't want to I don't want to speak too negatively, but I think it's really important that we address this. People yeah. who go on the plaque are people who listen to the podcast, interact with us, and yeah. express a bit of love for it, right? So a couple of weeks ago, this is before you joined, Maddie and I put someone on the plaque, and his name is Dale Dustin Fletcher. He works on another podcast. Yeah. And uh, I tweeted. I put him on. 
Dale Dustin Fletcher a couple of weeks ago because he was our favourite member of this other podcast. And I said, um, mate, what sort of pyjamas do you wear? <laughs> and he didn't respond. And That's then, harsh. I mean, it was just a question. It really, you could have said none. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. He doesn't, it doesn't, have doesn't to, even click the like button. We're guessing. Uh, he only followed us a few days ago on yeah. Twitter. And that was due to peer pressure, I think, from Correct. his mate Tuggers. Yep, because Tuggers from uh, the, uh, the press box app yep. uh, said, uh, we'll ask... Dale, Dustin, if he hates us, and he's like, no, I don't, I just don't check my stuff. Just side note, what does EP mean? No, oh, no, 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 it's a, we yeah, don't know. So, no idea. Sure. So the reason I'm doing this is because I don't think that Dale listens to the podcast. Dale, Dustin Fletcher, um, I suggested to Sam Tugwell a couple of weeks ago, mate, here's a good headline for the back page of the paper. Next day it was on the back page of the paper. Really? Yes. Uh, that really? was uh, uh, Norton 12. Claimed it. Uh, and you know, we can be both creative minds at the same time. Didn't even get a, hey, mate, great minds think alike. So I'm going to take Dale <laughs> Dustin Fletcher off the plaque and replace it with Sam Tugwell. Yes, I like it. He's on there. And, uh, mate, if this creates friction and tension, then, well, listen to Matty's sex podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Right, we are back next it. round. We have lots more to get through. Thank you for listening. And we have some more announcements as well about like a side podcast we are doing. There's there's heaps to love about this and probably some stuff not to like. But you know what? Make up your own mind. That's right. See ya. Bye-bye. Catch you next week. Podcast. <laughs> are you a podcaster? Maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join. The multi-award winning Ozcast Network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world. Join now for the first month free and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. Ozcast. Simply head to ozcastnetwork.com for details.